Secretary Antony J. Blinken with ABC World News Tonight's David Muir. Question, I appreciate you coming here, Mr. Secretary. U.S. Officials revealed to ABC News yesterday that a possible strategy to free some 50 hostages, women and children, from Hamas was being developed. We were informed last night that talks were progressing. According to President Biden, the families should not give up. We're on our way. How likely is it that we will see any of these hostages? Secretary Blinken, what I can tell you, David, is this. Since the beginning, we have been putting a lot of effort into trying to free the hostages, including the Americans, Israelis, and other nationalities that Hamas is holding. Having said that, we don't want to compromise anything we're doing to attempt to bring folks home, so the less I say, the better right now. All I can say is that we're giving it our all, and by the looks of things, I hope we can get people back home. Question. I'm sure you've heard what we reported this evening regarding the announcement by Israeli officials that a 65-year-old hostage's body was discovered close to Al-Shifa Hospital. Are you smart enough? Should the world be ready to hear that there are still hostages who have not made it out of this ordeal? Secretary Blinken, although I lack the facts to verify what you've said, notice this. Since the beginning, Hamas has put everyone in danger. It has surrounded hospitals, apartment buildings, schools, mosques, and other places where civilians are present. It has also placed hostages in danger by placing them close to potential danger. That very definitely may be one of the outcomes. How horrifying. Question, may I inquire specifically about Al-Shifa Hospital? According to U.S. authorities, they have intelligence that supports the Israeli assertion that tunnels exist beneath Al-Shifa Hospital. I am aware that tonight the Israelis will be showcasing updated photos. Are you certain that the hospital was, when it was assaulted, populated with patients and infants, and that there are tunnels and a command center beneath it? Yes, said Secretary Blinken. Based on available information and information from the Israelis, we know that Hamas has a history of using civilian infrastructure, including schools, hospitals, mosques, and apartment buildings, to embed their fighters and establish command posts, commanders, and weaponry. Assault rifles have been discovered close to MRI machines, among the many weapons that have already been retrieved from the operation at Al-Shifa Hospital. This is just one of Hamas' horrific tactics, and as you are aware, it has put a great deal of Gaza's civilian population in danger.